Come in. Hello, Doctor. Hi. How can I help you today? Well, I would like a repeat prescription, please, for my diet drugs. Just confirm for me your name again. Uh, Laura Smith. Ah, oh, right. Yes, yes, I've got you. Uh, re reductal. I think that's what it was called, yes. Um, reductal actually is no longer recommended um, for use in, in weight loss, weight control. How, how have you been getting on with it? Um, fine, I'm not losing weight, but I'm not putting it on. Um, just give me another one then. I'm not fussy which make it is. Uh, um, you can buy um, over the counter lower dose lower dose tablets, so you, so you don't need a prescription for them anymore. Well, I'd rather have a prescription because my prescription's free and I think I've got a right to a prescription. Uh, no, I'm sorry, we can't prescribe or list that. Why? Um, because it's over the counter medicines. Right, so just give me the equivalent. Um, um, that you can't prescribe. We can't. We can't prescribe anything. Reductal was the the one that was on uh, was prescription only medicine, and we can no longer prescribe that. Guidance recommends that we no longer prescribe that for people because it's actually shown to increase the cardiovascular risk. And actually, I noticed from your last visit that your blood pressure was a little bit high. I I don't think you should be taking any medicines because the bottom line is actually from what you're telling me is it's not helping you to lose weight. It's helping you to maintain your weight. And maintaining your weight should be something that you do through diet and exercise anyway. This is artificially maintaining yes, but your I'm weight. I find it really hard. I just keep piling on the pounds until I started that drug. And, you know, I, I really would like it. Um, are you sure that it's yep. dangerous? Because yep. it's not that long ago that I had it. Well, nobody said that to me then. I, it has actually been recent guidance out in the last month or so, month to six weeks. It takes, sometimes takes a bit to filter through, but we've been told unequivocally that we're not allowed to prescribe this anymore. No, when I'm you take really your prescription to the pharmacist, they won't fill it. Um, you really do need to be joining Weight Watchers. There's been an article, there's been an article in the, um, the BMG just couple of weeks ago that shows that actually joining a group, a Weight Watchers group or the equivalent, is much more effective long term. I've not got time to go to Weight Watchers. Well, I'm sorry, there's no choice. But uh, you're you, saying there's over the counter yep, stuff. Yep, it's I a much buy, lower, it's a much lower, it, because it's less, there's less um, drug in it, it's less effective, but then consequently it's also less dangerous. Right. So you can buy the or Orlistat right. um, or you can join Weight Watchers. Well, I don't think that's a very sympathetic view, actually. I don't think you've taken into account how stressed I am about my weight. I'm sorry, I'm it's a, really I know, hard. I know, and I can appreciate that, but it's your diet and exercise. That's the important thing. You need to get yourself sorted but out. I don't eat a lot. Well, I think you might find that you possibly are eating more than you think. And if you joined Weight Watchers or Equivalent Slimming World, etc., then you possibly would be encouraged to do a food diary and you might find that you're eating more than you are. There's nothing more I can do for you. We cannot prescribe Reductal anymore. The recommendation is join a Weight Watchers group or Slimming World group and just modify your diet and increase your exercise. That is the only way that you are going to lose weight. Well, I'm not really happy with that approach. Um, I'm Things really like sorry that I'm unable else, to help you. Because there must be somebody else in here that has got a more um, understanding approach to weight loss than telling me to join Weight Watchers. Well, that is the recommendation. That's the guidelines. If You're very welcome to go and make an appointment with another doctor, but you will get the same message from them as you're getting from me. And I'm sorry if I appear unsympathetic. So However, the bottom line is diet and exercise is what you need to do in order to lose weight and to maintain your weight. But I'm eating what I've always ate. It's just now that I'm getting middle-aged, I'm piling on the pounds. So if you, al if you always do eat. what you've always done, then you're always going to get what you get. So if you overeat and you've overeaten no, for I years... No, but I never used to be fat. But I've the only, only reason that you're maintaining your weight is because of the reductal. If you would let me finish, I've only started to get fat since I had the menopause. So are you telling me that because I've had the menopause, I'm not allowed to eat a normal amount of food? No, I'm saying that you need to be looking at your whole lifestyle, which is diet and exercise. I'm really sorry that I'm unable to help you today. Please feel free to make an appointment with another GP. I think I will. I'll be taking this further because I'm not happy. I'm not satisfied with this. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.